Okay, this is a huge update right here. Um, I, I went a little nuts yesterday, but today I finally went and I uh, went ahead and I did it. So I'm going to show you what I did. This guy almost bust a nut. He has a new home. That's the old pot right there. And that's the new one. And we do have him righted by a stick over here. He's still leaning a little bit. But that's the new home. Of course, it's breezy out here as usual. Haven't had any rainfall in two weeks. But. My Vinca are doing really well. Impatience, not so much. Well, they're not supposed to be out there here in this heat. But I got the same thing here. Yesterday I went ahead, got some salvia, some more of these guys. Um, I got some white ones as well. As you can see, there's your impatience there. So not much left of them. But this, this Vinca is doing really, really well. Really surprised. Seeing as how this, this is parched. Even if you water it three times a day, it's parched. You haven't had any fucking rain. Everything's suffering because of it. Planted a new vine and it just stopped new vine here and uh, this is actually a really good collection of vines here when they go up to the top I send them back down and then it had a couple of offshoots and uh, now it still has new growth on it and again here watered this last night Nearly dry as a bone. That tomato plant's done. I got rid of the other one. In its place are my banana peppers. Uh, I planted it in March. And this is about how far it's gone. But finally got a nice root ball on it, so I decided to move it. And that's squash right there. I, I really don't know how I'm going to, you know, get some squash out of this uh, in a pot. You know, usually you plant them in mounds and stuff. But I picked up some of these guys here. These are six foot tall. Um, it was a couple of dollars for, for a pack of six. And uh, I'm just testing it out here. I'm going to try it on tomatoes. I'm going to start a new start a new batch of them the end of this month. I, uh, I pulled the onion out of here. Really, it was only about the size of a golf ball. That was disappointing as well. I think it's just the climate. Need to start growing some things when it gets cooler and then see what happens. But these are the radishes, and uh, you know, kind of, I replanted them, and it took them a couple of weeks to get back. So, my philodendron. I uh, I cut the end off the longest branch, but it has eight, seven or eight vines coming off of here. It's doing really well. This is probably the nicest section of my porch right now. So everything that I have here usually does really well here. So I don't move that around. But yeah, 
That's the big news, big update. Now I've been talking about it for half a year. Papa does not want to move, but uh, I did at least get him some new legs. And uh, give it a couple of weeks and then he'll hopefully start rooting and uh, be able to stand up on his own. Now these two guys over here, really not sure what I'm going to do. The top one I may move to the front and this guy I, I'm really not sure. Um, I'd like to say if there's anybody in the area that needs some aloe, I have a lot of it. You know, I, d I don't have just this. I have these 11 guys down here. Don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I might start two or three and just chuck the rest. But over here, this poor guy, which has been through hell and is root bound, he has a couple little guys too. There are. There are four that I can see from here. Now, there's another one here. Um, in closing, this uh, so far has been a, a very rough season. Um, you know, we went from having one of the coldest winters on record uh, and right off the bat, it just got hot. Uh, you know, there was no in between. And um, past, what did I say, the past four months or so, the amount of rainfall that just my little particular area has received, um, maybe about six, six and a half inches, that's the average rainfall for August for this area. And. I mean, look, I mean, this, this is, this is the proof. I've been, I've been saying this on Facebook, on Twitter, that I have not been getting any rain and this is the proof right here. And there, you know, there are people in the state there, you know, there are people just, you know, a short drive up the road there. They're getting rain every single day or nearly every single day. I haven't been getting shit out here. This is friggin' awful. So, you know, the plants have been stressed. It's been very hot, uh, very dry as far as rain goes. I mean, the humidity is still up. We, we just haven't had any rainfall. I mean, you know, today, today I checked the weather and it said rain showers and it, there's no rain showers here. I, I don't know what the radar is picking up. I don't know why we're not getting any rain. I don't know why it keeps going around my town, but it's really frustrating, you know. Um, even with the drip irrigation system, you know, I tried it when I went away in May and I still lost plants because we had no rain at all that entire month. None. And I was gone for eight days and we were breaking uh, high temperature records and we had not a drop of rain. It's just, even even the drip irrigation can't keep up with it. It's just, it's just been so bad. But... Uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to get inside and uh, get this uploaded as soon as I can.